I'm coming to you today in a not so matching pajama set. Can you see this? My pajamas are not matching anymore because if you watched my last vlog, you know that I lost my pajama bottoms. I didn't even have this set for that long. I think I had it for like a month, maybe. So typical. This is so typical for me to lose it. Anyways, at one point, I will get a new one. It's getting warmer anyway, so maybe I'll get like a short, a short one with short sleeves and like shorts. We'll see. I've been reading up on Psalm 34 when David pretends to be mad, he pretends to be crazy. This guy is so interesting. Psalm 34 verse six and seven, where it says, in my desperation I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. Right now, if you're in desperation and you're praying, the Lord is listening. He hears you. No prayer goes unheard. Declare that in faith as well. The Lord hears my prayer right now. Lord, you hear me. I know that you hear me. To stir up that faith in your heart, to be expected on the Lord to come through because he has heard you. He saved me from all my troubles. That's gonna be your testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. The angel of the uh, Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. You are surrounded right now and you are being defended. If we could see the spirit realm fully, I think we would be scared with how many attacks the enemy is placing on our lives all the time and how much the angels of the Lord are protecting us from. We don't even know. Just stand still at that, that the Lord hears your prayers and you are being protected and surrounded right now. This is so loud for no reason. Man. That's the only thing about this flat. When the windows are open, it's just crazy. The trains are way too loud. But I am meeting a friend in a little bit, so I'm gonna get dressed. I have done my hair in like a tight ponytail. I'm wearing it with my black trousers that I had the audacity to call clown pants in a different video. I take that back, I take it back. I've been wearing them so much. I actually really like them, so sorry. I made this green juice. It has apples, spinach, cucumber, celery, uh, pineapple, bottoms up. Mm, that's actually very good. I saw some comments of people being like, how can cucumber be good in a juice? You have to add something sweet, so I added pineapple. If you don't add something sweet to it, then it's a little bit torture, I can't lie. But like this, it actually tastes good. I am in embankment now. My friend Evelyn decided to come by boat. So if you did know, not know, here in London, they have Uber boats, so you can take an Uber, that's a boat, which is so funny to me. There is one cruising by right now, Uber boat. So you can take that, go on Uber, and you can get a ticket for that boat. Very funny. Maybe she's on that one. Also, this view will never get old. Just a little view of like the skyline with the Thames. I see her right there. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is my friend Eve. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. And whenever I introduce friends, people get so shy. They're like, hello. <laughs> not me. No. <laughs> We're off to catch up after a while. Yeah. yeah, we have not seen each other in how long? It's been months. Me and Eve go way back. <laughs> We've known each other for like 10 million years. Actually 10 years, nine and a half. A minute. We've been stuck with each other forever. Can't get rid of her, cannot get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at this like book market by Embankment and look what I found. Sadie Robertson and Christian book how to put love first 90 day challenge what like what are the chances but I can't find the price in here so I'm gonna ask how much it is but that's so lovely I bought the book I got it I will start reading this and see because I love Sadie Robertson she is amazing so so crazy that this is here we love it I love to see Christian books in like a <laughs> random place I love it. 
Good morning, everyone. It's not, I mean, it's almost not morning anymore. It's what, 11.30? I've been filming. Thank you, Jesus, for a new day. My hair is looking, it's looking nice today. Look at the bounce. I got a very exciting email today. A very exciting email. Look at this email that I got from YouTube. It's in Dutch, but it says, Hi, Deborah, all your hard work is gonna be um, how do you say it? Paid off, I guess. You are now eligible for a YouTube reward. No way. Okay, enter redemption code. I'm gonna copy my code. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? It's saying error. Uh-oh, after too many failed attempts, this redemption code has been put on hold. I just put it in the first time. What do you mean? Okay, then. I'm gonna, let me try it in Google Chrome. Sometimes Safari is just weird. Otherwise, well, what can I do? Then I'll, I don't know. Okay, it's working now. Okay, maybe it's fine. It's showing how it's gonna be on the plaque. Look, presented to the Borby for passing 100,000 subscribers. What? I need to fill in my address and stuff. I always thought that for these play buttons, they would just send it to you. you didn't have to do anything for it, but apparently not. I mean, at the end of the day, this is just a worldly reward, right? This is just something we've made up as humans. This doesn't have any value. What's truly valuable is the reward that we, the rewards that we store up in heaven for the things, through the things that we do for the kingdom of God. Those truly matter. This is like, this is nice, but it's not that nice, you know? It's good to keep that perspective to know what's important and what's not. Okay, this is done. I'm now gonna clean up a little bit because I have a friend coming over later, my friend Karina, who I haven't seen in a while. She's amazing, absolutely amazing. I met her in church ages ago and she is one of the friends, so is Eve actually, but she's one of the friends who allowed me to stay on her sofa when I didn't have a place to live for a while. I'm just so grateful that I get to call her my friend and I wanna clean up a little bit and go get some snacks and some food and make something, make something nice. So let's do that right now. Let's put on some music and let's get to cleaning. Also, just a little reality of being a woman. I have very irregular periods because I have PCOS. So I never know when my hormones are doing what. And today I've just been, I was recording a Faith Talks episode, but it was just not, it was not working. And I was so frustrated with myself. I filmed the video, but it, I think it took me an hour and a half for a video that's like 20 minutes. Cause I was just stopping so much. And I was like, Lord, like I rebuked the enemy. I got my period. I just got my period. So I'm like, aha, now that, now it all makes sense. It makes sense in hindsight that I'm like, oh, yesterday, that's why. I felt that way and today that's why I, I thought that. So now I feel better because I'm like, okay, so I'm not crazy because I was like, Holy Spirit, what's going on? What are you trying to tell me? Lord, what's wrong? But now I'm like, oh, I never know when what I'm experiencing is my period and when it's me being dramatic and when it's spiritual warfare and when it's the Holy Spirit trying to tell me something like it makes things a little bit harder, but you know, that's the reality of being a woman right there. Miracles when you move, such an easy thing for you to do. Look what I found in my um, letter box. I like that it says that it's from the Bank of Eternity and this Bible verse is so powerful. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I should pin it on my board for now. I haven't added any new scriptures to this. I mean, I have been away, to be honest, so that's a fair point. Let me put this on there and let's put a new verse up today to memorize. He will never fail. Okay, we're gonna add a new Bible verse to the memorizing board, and that's gonna be Esther 4, verse 14, which says, for if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place, but you and your father's family will perish. This is speaking, Mordecai speaking to Esther. Then he says, and who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. I just um, sent this in the Holy Girls chat. We have a, a chat with the girls that are coming on the Holy Girls trip to Bali. I just send them this Bible verse because the Lord placed it on my heart and it's just so significant that Mordecai said, look, 
in a way, you have a choice. Do you want to answer the call of the Lord or do you not? God's purpose is going to be fulfilled either way because when the Lord speaks something, it's going to come to fulfillment. The Jews will get their deliverance. But perhaps the Lord wants to do it through you. He wants to use you in the history of his work to fulfill his purpose, to be that um, start of that deliverance. We all have a choice, but perhaps the Lord wants to use you where he's placed you. He's called you for such a time as this. So I think this is such a powerful piece of scripture to know, to know by heart, to have written on our hearts. Here we go. It's looking like this right now with the one million, the one million pounds on there as well. But that's such an important Bible verse to know as well. For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world yet forfeit his soul? That's so true. I have this jewelry stand in my bedroom on my bedside table and I never really used it. But my jewelry was just in this all over the place and now i was like let me put this here this looks so organized so every morning when i get ready i can choose my jewelry from here now so much better that looks so much better just like this as well i'm gonna make my blueberry pancakes like i do every morning now because they're just too good <laughs> I get oh these are pretty good I haven't had these in a long time I, I do my best to stay away from this aisle so <laughs> but for today I'm gonna get these <laughs> This one has carrots, oranges, pineapple, ginger, apples, like lots of good stuff. So I'm gonna have this one. I need to get lots of work done, so I'm gonna get to that now. And later today, super exciting, I'm gonna go to an event from The Way, The Way UK, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen if you have not. They're an amazing platform of young adults, I guess. Um, spreading the word, spreading the good news. So I'm super excited. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what the event is gonna be like, but that should be fun. Yeah, that's exciting, but first let me get to work. My hair is looking all right. Okay, okay, I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna head out in 10 minutes. I have so many clothes to wear, but when I have to head out, what do I wear? the basic tops every single time. They just go with everything. Should I wear this or should I wear something else? Okay, I changed my mind. I'm gonna wear this. This cardigan is doing overtime. People are gonna think I don't have any other clothes. It's just so cute, I love it. So, pink cardigan, blue jeans, and sneakers. These jeans are like, just not long enough to hit the floor. Were they always like this? I don't know. Anyways, that's it. This is this is the look. I'm wearing this coat and I'm ready to go. Also, this little picture is from when me and my friend Yeni were at um, Soho House and there was like an Oscars night and she's holding a real Oscar right there. But this is not a great picture. Woo! Anyways, keeping it there for the memories. We're here, we're at the church. I'm here with Mariah. Hey. Hey. She's never been in a vlog. I've never been in a vlog. Many times you're gonna see her a lot. This is true. This is true. I feel like I see her a lot. This weekend to a wall, and then you went away, and I was like, oh my gosh, where's my sis? <laughs> I'm back now. I'm you're back. back. You're I'm back. 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 We're, we're able to do these events again and go to church together. So, yeah, we're here, and the building is so pretty. Oh, 
we need. So, and drinks. You need to see. Yeah, now you don't. We're back home. I'm back home. So dehydrated. Oh my goodness. I just realized that at events where there's going to be worship sessions, I need to start bringing water because I did not bring water and I was dehydrated praising the Lord. But the event was so good. It was so good. It was like extended time of worship, then teaching such good, substantial teaching about Jesus um, coming down to earth being god like how does that even work him laying down all of the things that he had a right to as the king of eternity like the king over everything he laid it down and became human it's just so crazy and it's so hard to wrap our heads around sometimes so it was just about that but in depth i'm still processing it all there were so many beautiful things said one of them that i want to pass on to you what they said is that god loves you so much that he was willing to lay down everything that he had in eternity to come and pay for your sins. The way that they said it was so beautiful, but the Lord laid it all down for you. He gave up everything for you. And it just really spoke to me because I was like, wow, and we're so quick to hold on to our dreams, our desires, the things that God has given us, they're not even ours, but we hold on to it so tightly. We don't even wanna give him that yet. He gave everything for us. How wild is that? Honestly, I'm going to meditate on that. It's quite late. It is 11 o'clock right now. But to be honest, I already know that I won't be able to sleep. So I'm probably going to edit this vlog that you're watching right now because I need to edit it. It needs to be uploaded. So I'm going to do that.